This is the Music History Today podcast for October 15th. On today's show, Chuck Berry gives his final performance, as does CBGB's. Plus, Rick Nelson gets booed and writes a song about it. First up, though, on this date in 1937, singer Joe Stafford married singer John Huddleston. In 1955, the Grand Ole Opry TV show premiered on ABC television. In 1956, Little Richard recorded the song Good Golly Miss Molly. In 1958, Jackie Wilson recorded his smash hit Lonely Teardrops. In 1960, the Beatles, with Ringo Starr on drums instead of Pete Best, recorded together for the first time. In 1963, Mary Travers of Peter, Paul, and Mary married photographer Barry Feinstein. In 1965, Jimi Hendrix signed his first recording contract. In 1966, the Four Tops at number one with the song Reach Out, I'll Be There. And the Monkees recorded the Neil Diamond written song I'm a Believer. In 1968, Led Zeppelin performed together for the first time in England. In 1971, Rick Nelson was booed at Madison Square Garden when he tried to perform newer songs instead of old hits during his part of a charity concert. The experience went on to inspire him to write his comeback song, Garden Party. In 1973, Elvis Presley entered the hospital for treatment of respiratory problems, which is where his doctor realized that Elvis was addicted to Demerol. In 1981, Metallica was formed. In 1992, Madonna held her infamous sex party in Manhattan to promote her sex photo book. In 2000, Dave Edmonds had triple bypass heart surgery. In 2001, Slash of Guns N' Roses married his wife, Perla Farrar. In 2003, the Louis Armstrong House Museum opened in Queens, New York. In 2006, Patti Smith was the final performer at the original New York City club, CBGB's. We discuss that along with many other events on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel, regardless of whether you're listening to the audio version or watching the video version. Moving on. In 2014, Chuck Berry played his final performance. It was at the Blueberry Hill Club in St. Louis, Missouri. In 2016, the Lifetime Channel music docu-movie Surviving Compton, Dre, Shug, and Michelle A. premiered. In 2016, same day, Winston Marshall of Mumford & Sons married singer and actress Diana Argrun. And in 2017, the music documentary series The Platinum Life premiered on the E! TV channel. In classical music, in 1886, Modest Mazursky's classical piece, Night on Bald Mountain, premiered in St. Petersburg, Russia. It would later become famous to an entire generation of kids in the Disney movie Fantasia. In 1905, classical composer Claude Debussy's La Mire premiered. In 1925, the opera Beatrice from Willem Landry was performed for the first time. And in 1994, Philip Glass premiered his Symphony No. 2 for String Orchestra. In award ceremonies that were held on October 15th in 1969, Tammy Wynette and Johnny Cash were among the big winners at the Country Music Association Awards, and in 1973, Roy Clark was among the big winners at the Country Music Association Awards. Albums that were released in the UK on October 15th include in 1965 when Manfred Mann released Man Made. In America, meanwhile, in 1957, Elvis Presley released Elvis's Christmas album, which is the biggest selling Christmas album of all time. In 1962, Brenda Lee released Brenda, That's All. In 1966, Otis Redding released Complete and Unbelievable, the Otis Redding Dictionary of Soul. In 1968, Neil Diamond released Velvet Gloves and Spit. In 1969, Yes released their self-titled album. In 1970, The Jackson 5 released The Jackson 5 Christmas Album. In 1973, The Band released Moondog Matinee. Fleetwood Mac released Mystery to Me. And Neil Young released Time Fades Away. In 1978, Toto released their self-titled album. In 1979, Donna Summer released On the Radio. In 1982, Richard and Linda Thompson released Shoot Out the Lights and Ultravox released Quartet. In 1984, Julian Lennon released Valat and XTC released The Big Express. In 1986, Elton John released Leather Jackets. 
In 1987, guitarist Joe Satriani released his album Surfing with the Alien. In 1988, Motorhead released No Sleep at All. In 1990, Ride released Nowhere, Morrissey released Bona Drag, and Led Zeppelin released the Led Zeppelin remasters. In 1991, Dramarama released Vinyl, Crosby, Stills, and Nash released the CSN box set, and Warren Zevon released Mr. Bad Example. In 1996, Corrosion of Conformity released Wise Blood, The Counting Crows released Recovering the Satellites, Dio released Angry Machines, Korn released Life is Peachy, Motorhead released Overnight Sensation, Fish released Billy Breathes, Bad Company released Stories Told and Untold, The Monkees released Justice, The Rolling Stones released The Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Circus after about 30 years of it being on the shelf, and The Tubes released Genius of America. In 1997, In Flames released Horacle. In 2001, The Church released Sing Songs, Remote Luxury, Persia. In 2002, Tracy Chapman released Let It Rain. In 2007, Alison Moyer released The Turn. And in 2013, Pearl Jam released Lightning Bolt. Singles that were released in the UK on October 15th include in 1971 when The Who released Let's See Action. In 1976, Ringo Starr released A Dose of Rock and Roll, and in 2008, Girls Aloud released The Promise, but as a CD single only in Ireland. Meanwhile, in America, in 1960, The Miracles released Shop Around. In 1968, Stevie Wonder released For Once in My Life. In 1969, The Kinks released Victoria. In 1970, The Supremes released Stoned Love. In 1971, Sly and the Family Stone released Family Affair. And Van Morrison released Wild Night. In 1972, The Isley Brothers released Work to Do. In 1973, Dolly Parton released Jolene. Jolene, Jolene. Sorry, can't sing that song. Also in 1973, Elton John released Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, a classic. In 1977, Earth, Wind & Fire released Serpentine Fire, and Paul Simon released Slip Sliding Away. Lots of classics on this date. In 1983, John Mellencamp, then known as John Cougar, released Crumbling Down. In 1984, The Cars released Hello, Hello Again. In 1988, Duran Duran released I Don't Want Your Love. And in 1993, Brian Adams released Please Forgive Me. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 15th include singer Genuine, Tito Jackson of the Jacksons, Frank Domino of Angel, singer Chris DeBerg, singer Chris Andrews, Don Stevenson of Moby Grape, singer Marv Johnson, Barry McGuire of the New Christy Minstrels, Mickey Baker of Mickey and Sylvia, singer Eric Benet, music video director Chris Cunningham, Richard Carpenter of The Carpenters, Douglas Vipond of Deacon Blue, singer Keisha Cole, Afrobeat pioneer and singer Fela Kuti, singer Malu Trevejo, singer Sebastian Yatra, rapper Lil Klein, rapper Fedez, and singer He Swang. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 15th include composer John Ferrabosco, who passed away in 1682 at the age of 56. Composer Mikhail Oginsky passed away in 1833 at the age of 68. Composer Francesco Shira passed away in 1883 at the age of 74. Composer Zdenek Fibich passed away in 1900 at the age of 49. Pianist Alexander Rosicki passed away in 1914 at the age of 59. 
composer Fumio Hayasaka passed away from tuberculosis in 1955 at the age of 41. Composer Cole Porter passed away in 1964 at the age of 73. Conductor Carl Hoff passed away in 1965 at the age of 60. Pianist Franz Reisenstein passed away in 1968 at the age of 57. Blues guitarist Gus Cannon passed away in 1979 at the age of 96. Bobby Lester of the Moon Glows passed away from cancer in 1980 at the age of 50. The orchestra leader for the Cavalcade of Stars TV show, Mr. Ted Steele, passed away in 1985 at the age of 68. Ken E. Jones of the New Amsterdam Symphony Orchestra passed away from AIDS in 1993 at the age of 34. Singer Josef Locke passed away in 1999 at the age of 82. Singer and actress Edie Adams passed away in 2008 at the age of 81. Singer and actress Betty Driver passed away in 2011 at the age of 91. Singer Tongue Moyo passed away in 2011 at the age of 43. Gloria Lynn of the group The Deltones passed away in 2013 at the age of 83. Composer Hossein Delavi passed away from Alzheimer's in 2019 at the age of 92. George Pops Chambers of the group The Chambers Brothers passed away in 2019 at the age of 88. Gordon Haskell of King Crimson passed away in 2020 at the age of 74. Singer-songwriter Joyce Sims passed away in 2022 at the age of 63. Dance hall singer-songwriter Mika Ben passed away in 2022 while performing on stage from a heart attack at the age of 41. And the composer and professor at the Bucharest Conservatory from 1962 to 2003, Carmen Petra Basacopo passed away in 2023 at the age of 97. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 16th, when in 1951, Little Richard recorded for the very first time. 